Hi YouTube, just want to take you for a little walk around my allotment, so my uh, kind of extended garden for uh, growing you know, fruit and vegetables to supplement the family for, uh, for the year. Here in the UK we've got a uh, system of allotments which is very simply uh, council kind of um, local authority um, waste ground normally that they sell off in plots for people to uh, grow their own you know and uh, what we're looking at is uh, about 11 pounds a year for a plot so uh, as you can see you know my one's uh, pretty long you know uh, they do them in poles believe it or not five poles and ten poles and uh, I think ten poles is um, practically a small holding you know whereas uh, this is uh, pretty manageable kind of all round really you know all I've done here is put a kind of mix in of um, a bit of fruit and veg you know a few uh, fruit trees some uh, spring onions potatoes cabbages you know I kind of share the uh, management of it with a uh, close friend and uh, we split the harvest between the two of us so uh, normally there's always one of us about at any one time to uh, pop down you know every few days or once a week just to uh, just to oversee it but uh, this is all potatoes and uh, last year we had about um, maybe 300 weight so about 330 pounds of potatoes out of uh, out of the plot and uh, and like I say you know then we've got kind of vegetables or carrots and onions uh, we um, uh, had beetroots last year you know so at some point during the season you know some of this crop will get harvested and we'll get another one in and uh, that's how we go on but um, uh, what happened uh, just a couple of days ago really was I took the last uh, potato and the last beetroots out of my uh, freezer at home so what I do with the potatoes is I take them home blanch them off I think in one instance I actually sort of mashed them with some uh, butter and double cream and uh, put them in containers and put them in the freezer and I, I'm not kidding you I pulled them out maybe three or four months later and they've been uh, good as gold um, same with the beetroots, just blanch them off in some uh, boiling water with uh, about 10-15% uh, vinegar and uh, uh, put them in the freezer and they were great, you know, they, I think they were the last crop that I took out last, uh, uh, last year and like I say I've literally just got the last couple out of the freezer so um, two heavy duty 12 volt batteries uh, I have no idea what condition they're in but I'm going to take them home put a uh, meter on them see if they're any good put them on a trickle charge what do you think about that for nothing I love this uh, guy's rain kind of uh, catching recycling system you know I just found it incredibly uh, uh, clever really well he's just kind of you know descending heights with a little bit of hose you know four inches from the top and uh, one barrel fills the next, you know, and then exactly the same system for the next one. You know, quite a clever uh, little kind of rain catch for nothing. You know, all the guy's done is just put up a little bit of guttering, which I'm assuming was, you know, waste from somewhere or other. And um, that's all the water for his uh, crop on his allotment, you know absolutely top-notch no reason why we couldn't do something like that at home in a uh, shtf type situation you know brilliant okay off we go again down here of an evening it's uh, rife with rabbits and uh, even small deer you know this would be a perfect place to uh, put a few uh, rabbit traps few little uh, bird traps, animal snares, you know, I even, uh, even saw a white fox down here uh, one evening, I was probably here about dusk heading home and I thought it was a chap with his dog, but uh, as I got closer to it, just on this uh, far corner as we're looking, it was uh, definitely a brilliant white little fox, and uh, that was that, so you can see, you know, this is quite an extensive, quite popular little pastime. For people, you know, 
middle-aged, I would have thought, was uh, well, the age of people. I don't see too many youngsters down here, but uh, it's a uh, great supplement to the uh, to the yearly shopping bill, that's for sure. Okay, YouTube, back soon. I'll just do this bit for you and state the obvious that uh, this fencing is, uh, is here to just stop uh, pretty much anybody, you know, popping down and helping themselves really. But uh, it's locked. All the tenants have a key to the lock. But that's as uh, good as security gets. It's not, certainly nothing that's going to stop, uh, you know, starving hordes getting in and uh, stealing your crops. But uh, I think the defence, the major defence against uh, uh, people stealing crops, and to my knowledge, it's never happened, is that uh, it's quite a secluded spot, you know, and people just don't think like that. I think people are more likely to go and uh, loot the supermarket than they are to come down here and get fresh food out of the ground. But uh, that's my allotment anyway.